COVID has been very disruptive in all of our lives. But this disruption is particularly true for children and families impacted by developmental challenges, such as autism spectrum disorder. If we think globally, particularly in low resource environments, even before the pandemic struck, children impacted by disabilities were often among the most marginalized in society, facing increased risk of discrimination, in addition to limited access to existing services and supports, which in a pandemic could be considered pre-existing vulnerabilities. COVID has disrupted numerous service sectors that children and families impacted by disabilities rely on including health services, the social protection system, and schools. In particular, schools around the world often provide key learning supports for many children with developmental challenges, including autism. Recognizing that this pandemic has the potential to worsen pre-existing disparities, we really should be prioritizing children and families impacted by disabilities, such as autism, in outreach and inclusion efforts, in addition to reopening plans. For example, some schools are prioritizing children with disabilities in their reopening plans, particularly children who've had a really hard time engaging with a virtual learning platform, in addition to children who have had limited access to technology because of the digital divide and may have experienced some regression or loss of functional skills. So from a policy perspective, we should be prioritizing children and families impacted by disabilities in outreach and inclusion efforts, recognizing that they may face unique pre-existing vulnerabilities, which warrant unique attention as we continue to live in this pandemic world.